Hi, I'm Claude Whitaker. If you're in sales, you've heard a lot of things from sales trainers, uh, a lot of things maybe from sales books, and they're, one of the myths that I want to address right now is this. Uh, when somebody tells you that uh, the sale starts when the customer says no, all right? The sale starts when the customer says no, or, you know, every objection brings you closer to the sale. Every no brings you closer to the yes. Okay, look for the no's. You want them to say no because you want to overcome these objections and then they will buy. Here's the problem with that. Think of the last time you bought something you really, really wanted and you really, really liked. Think of something that was kind of expensive that you really wanted. Like your last car, for example. Something that you really wanted and you went out and you bought it. How many times did you object to buying it? How many closes did the salesman have to use? Well, when I'm giving speeches to audiences, I'll ask how many people in here have ever bought something that was expensive that they really, really wanted and they bought it. And, of course, everybody raises their hand because we've all done that. Okay, now, how many closes, just yell it out, how many closes did the salesman have to use before you bought? And you know what they say? Either one or none. Okay? So the sale doesn't really start when the customer says no. The sale starts when the customer says yes. Why are you looking for the no's? When you're at the end of your presentation, why would they object to what you have? See? The only reason that they object to it is because it's not for them. They're not convinced that it's for them. They're not convinced that your solution solves their problem. That's a sales problem. That's a problem in communication. That's a problem in... Uh, in telling the person what, what will help them, uh, it's in asking the correct questions. You're not asking enough questions to find out if this is really the best solution for the customer. See, the sale doesn't start when the customer says no. The problem with continually overcoming objections and getting more objections and overcoming them, it becomes a contest of wills. It becomes an argument. Selling by arguing, I guess it works. But, oh my gosh, you, you're so tired at the end. You're exhausted. The customer is exhausted. It's like, you know, you finally beat them into submission and they finally just give up and they go, okay, you win, we'll buy. That doesn't make happy customers. You want customers that are excited at the end of the presentation. They're not saying things like, well, we're going to have to think about it. They're saying, do you have one of these now? You know, how soon can we get delivery? You know? Uh, uh, how much do I need to write the checkout for? Can I give you half now and half on delivery? They're asking questions like that. The sale doesn't end when the customer says no. If the customer says no, you did something wrong. If you'd like to know how to give a great presentation so that at the end of that presentation you're not getting objections and you don't have to overcome objections because the customer really just wants to buy from you and wants to buy now, if you'd like to know how to do all of that, my suggestion is that you read my book, One Call Closing. It's on sale right now on Amazon.com. And I thank you for listening.